Rainmetal, one of Europe's most influential defense technology giants, has taken a decisive step in expanding its unmanned aerial capabilities with the opening of a new production facility dedicated to the Israeli-designed Hero series of loitering munitions. This move reflects not only Rainmetal's growing dominance in the European defense sector but also a broader strategic push by European nations to strengthen their domestic production of advanced weapon systems amid an increasingly unstable global security environment. The newly established manufacturing complex is situated on the Italian island of Sardinia, divided between two towns, Musei and Domus Novas, each specializing in different phases of the production process. The facilities are operated by Rainmetal's Italian subsidiary, RWM Italia, which has long been involved in the production of munitions and explosive systems. The Musei site is focused primarily on producing and testing electronic components critical to drone navigation, targeting, and communication systems, while the Domus Novas plant is responsible for integrating warheads and assembling the final operational versions of the drones before delivery to customers. The Hero series, originally developed by the Israeli company Uvision Air Limited, represents one of the most versatile and combat-proven families of loitering munitions on the global market. These drones, often called kamikaze drones or suicide UAVs, combine the surveillance and target acquisition features of traditional reconnaissance drones with the strike capability of precision-guided weapons. Once launched, they can loiter over a battlefield for extended periods, identify enemy targets, and dive into them with pinpoint accuracy, destroying both stationary and moving threats. By acquiring the license to produce these systems in Europe, Rainmetal has effectively localized production, making it faster and more politically manageable to deliver these drones to European and allied customers without relying directly on Israeli exports. The Hero family produced by Rainmetal currently includes three primary models, the Hero 30, the Hero 120, and the Hero 400. Each variant serves a distinct tactical purpose depending on the operational requirements. The smallest, the Hero 30, weighs only about 3 kilograms, including a 0.5 kilogram warhead. Despite its compact size, the drone is capable of loitering for up to 30 minutes and striking targets at distances up to 10 kilometers. It is designed to be easily deployed by small infantry units, launched from a compact transport launch canister, and controlled remotely through a portable operator console. Its low signature and agility make it ideal for eliminating high-value targets such as enemy snipers, command posts, or lightly armored vehicles in urban or close-quarter environments. The Hero 120 represents the next step in the family, providing significantly greater range and destructive power. With a total mass of 12 kilograms and a warhead weighing about 4.5 kilograms, it can operate at ranges of up to 40 kilometers and remain airborne for about one hour. The Hero 120 is designed to neutralize enemy vehicles, bunkers, and other fortified positions, offering a balance between portability and payload that appeals to both ground forces and special operations units. Its modular design allows operators to swap warheads for different mission profiles, making it one of the most adaptable systems in Rainmetal's arsenal. At the top of the range currently produced in Italy is the Hero 400, a significantly larger and more powerful system. Weighing around 40 kilograms with a 10 kilogram warhead, this variant can travel up to 60 kilometers and loiter in the air for up to two hours. Due to its size and launch mechanism, it is deployed from a catapult rather than a small canister, but its extended endurance and explosive payload allow it to engage heavily fortified or high-value targets deep behind enemy lines. The Hero 400 effectively bridges the gap between small tactical drones and larger operational strike systems, offering military planners greater flexibility in modern combat scenarios. While Rainmetal's current focus is on these three models, Uvision's wider product family includes even more capable systems such as the Hero 900 and Hero 1250. The latter can carry a 50-kilogram warhead, fly as far as 200 kilometers, and remain in the air for up to six hours. These larger drones, however, are not part of the new Sardinian production line and are likely being developed or assembled elsewhere under separate industrial arrangements. 
The Italian facilities concentrate on the compact and mid-range variants, which have proven to be the most in-demand products across Europe and among NATO allies. According to Rainmetal's official statement, the company's order book for the Hero drone family already stands at approximately 200 million euros, covering contracts with eight different countries. These clients reportedly include both NATO and non-NATO nations, demonstrating the system's global appeal and the growing demand for loitering munitions. In modern warfare, where precision, flexibility, and real-time target acquisition are essential, systems like the Hero drones have become critical assets for militaries seeking to enhance their situational awareness and strike capability without risking human pilots or expensive aircraft. The creation of a European production base for the Hero drones also carries significant geopolitical implications. By establishing manufacturing facilities within the European Union, Rainmetal and Uvision are ensuring a more stable and politically acceptable supply chain. This move reduces dependence on external suppliers and mitigates the potential for export restrictions or logistical delays caused by international tensions. It also positions Europe as an emerging hub for advanced unmanned weapons manufacturing at a time when the global defense industry is undergoing rapid technological transformation. However, despite the growing success of the HERO program, Ukraine remains unable to access these drones due to Israel's export policies. Uvision retains the right to veto any third-party sales involving its licensed technology, and Israel continues to block the transfer of weapons systems to Ukraine to maintain its delicate diplomatic balance in the Middle East. As a result, Rainmetal's Hero drones, though produced on European soil, cannot currently be supplied to Kiev. This limitation has sparked debate among defense analysts and policymakers, who argue that European manufactured systems should not be subject to non-EU export restrictions. Beyond the political challenges, Rainmetal's expansion into drone production reflects a broader shift in Europe's defense priorities. As conflicts across the world, from Ukraine to the Middle East, demonstrate the growing importance of unmanned and precision-guided systems, European manufacturers are racing to develop indigenous solutions to meet rising demand. Rainmetal's new facilities in Sardinia not only strengthen Italy's role within the European defense network but also contribute to the continent's strategic autonomy in weapons production. The investment in these plants is expected to create new high-tech jobs, stimulate local economies, and foster collaboration between European engineers and Israeli developers. More importantly, it cements Rainmetal's position as a key player in the future of drone warfare. As the company continues to expand its capacity and refine its designs, the Hero family is likely to evolve further, integrating advanced AI-assisted targeting, improved endurance, and multi-mission capabilities. In essence, Rainmetal's latest initiative symbolizes the convergence of European industrial strength and Israeli technological innovation. By bringing the production of loitering munitions to the heart of Europe, the company not only meets the immediate operational needs of allied militaries but also lays the groundwork for the next generation of autonomous strike systems. In the modern battle space, where speed, precision, and adaptability determine victory, the Hero drones represent a decisive leap forward, and Rainmetal's Sardinian plant stand as a testament to how international collaboration and strategic foresight can redefine the future of warfare.